Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this session, I am going to give you a brief introduction to GIS. At the end of the session, you should have a good sense of what is GIS, brief history of GIS and power of maps. The videos that are used in this presentation are collected from SRE and Python How channel. The link of those videos are provided in the description. So begin with what is GIS? GIS stands for Geographic Information System. Using computer hardware, software, and a ton of raw data, we can explore the fundamental principle of geography, that location is important in people's lives. Using GIS, we can view, understand, question, visualize, and interpret data in visual ways that reveal relationships and patterns which allows us to make better decisions. For example, a meteorologist might study the paths of hurricanes to predict where and when they might occur in the future. A city planner can choose the best location for a new park or hospital, ensuring that they are built in the place where they're needed the most. GIS is essential to understanding what has happened, what is happening, and what will happen in geographic space. Geographic understanding brings wisdom, and with wisdom, we can make better decisions to create a brighter future. Now listen the brief history of GIS. Our Earth is thought to be more than 4 billion years old. But it's only 4 centuries ago that we humans started to perceive Earth as a planet. And soon we started to map our world. The first maps were not that much accurate but the process was still called cartography. So cartography is the practice of making maps and it is often referred to as mapping. As the tools to make maps got more sophisticated, maps also started to show the reality more accurately and in much more details. People love maps and they keep doing more and more maps. And they, they would make maps of the terrain, they would make uh, maps of, of their dwellings, their routes to the forest and everything that would be interesting or useful to put on a map. However, this was uh, still just mapping. There was no special analysis involved on that. So this was not geographic information system, there was no system involved. However, techniques to make maps evolved and things were happening in the 18th century. A physician named John Snow in 1854 decided to map the victims of cholera. So he came out with a map representing the places where the victims lived. Then he somehow overlaid that map with the map uh, containing the water source locations and he found out and noticed that there was a special connection between the places where the victims of cholera lived and the water source locations. He just found out that cholera was caused by contaminated water. This was the first use of GIS. So GIS is not simply the process of making maps. Uh, GIS is a system that manages uh, spatial information, analyzes it and renders the results into maps. 3D animations also or into time series simulations depicting change over time. The use of GIS in the cholera case is probably the most basic use case uh, of GIS. Later on people started to draw spatial features into glass plates and overlay the plates on top of each other to draw out conclusions. And later on uh, these plates were replaced by plastic film with the advantages of being lighter and using less storage place. And eventually digital mapping came out and GIS was consequently transformed from a system maintained by hand to a system maintained by computers. And so the first complete geographic information system was implemented in 1960 in Canada. The system was called Canada Geographic Information System or CGIS. And CGIS consisted of a computer program that would provide capabilities for storing spatial information and overlaying and measuring this spatial information. That GIS implementation served the Land Administration Office to successfully keep a record and manage land information throughout the country. Now in the data age, uh, GIS has since come to influence nearly every sphere of spatial understanding and has helped define a new concept of geography. A GIS today is designed to capture, store, manipulate, analyze, manage and present all types of spatial or geographical data. 
Today, GIS is used for forest plantations. It's used to track disease outbreaks and to assess demographic changes, analyze voting tendencies, uh, predict food shortages, and there are maps of immigrant remittances, obesity, climate change, uh, and so on. So again, today uh, the term GIS refers to a system where geographic information is stored in layers and integrated with geographic software programs so that uh, spatial information can be created, stored, manipulated, analyzed and visualized. So that was some background information you need to know about GIS. Power of Maps Map provide a picture of the world to understand the spatial patterns, relationship and environmental complexity. Maps tells us where is it, what is it, when is it, what is nearby, how far away, in which direction, how do I get there, what other things are there also, how might they be related. Map tells us thousands of words. Now listen a video of S3 YouTube channel. Everywhere, people are using maps on their phones, tablets, and devices like never before. Online maps are one of the ways people are experiencing GIS and they don't even know it. These GIS maps provide a window to a world of rich information, all in one map. GIS maps can also tell all kinds of stories. Stories to communicate a point of view, to narrate a historical event, or tour a new destination. Track and manage the status of your operations and activities with GIS maps, such as sales results by region or understanding the spread of disease. GIS maps are used to collect data, to create a constant flow of new features and record events and facts. One of the most remarkable aspects of GIS is its analytical capabilities. You can derive new information layers and discover hotspots of crime, identify the nearest fire station to a school, or find the best areas to set aside for conservation. This is why so many people are excited about GIS. Dynamic maps can display changes and events through time. You can track environmental changes while others can monitor population trends and demographic changes in a city. And there's no better way than viewing the landscape, cityscape, or any environment in 3D. All these maps bring GIS to life for everyone. They bring understanding and greater insight to help people manage operations, make better decisions, and communicate more effectively. Okay, no more today. I think no one can teach you any software if you have no dedication and interest. Always explore yourself to be pro in any software. Keep watching my channel for getting more videos on RGS and don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment. Thank you everyone.